collagen is an essential building block in the youthfulness and glow of your appearance. Folks, I decided to take Ageless Multi Collagen and the results have been astounding. Get yourself a bag of Ageless Multi Collagen today while it's still 51% off. As an added bonus, if you order today, they'll give you free shipping, free VIP live health and fitness coaching for life, and a free e-report on the 14 foods for amazing skin and a 60 day money back guarantee. Go to www.healthwithdronetech.com and order today or click the link in the description or pin comment. President Trump delivering an unwelcome Christmas week surprise, a threat that could delay or deny millions of Americans the COVID relief they so desperately need. Oh my God. I just had to show you all this because it's another perfect demonstration of how Trump can do no right, no matter what he says or does. So you all remember yesterday when we found out about this coronavirus relief bill that was going to give Americans affected by the government's draconian anti-science lockdown a measly $600. Meanwhile, countries like Burma, Sri Lanka, and Pakistan Pakistan are getting billions of dollars. It's just completely insane. So insane that even on Twitter, it seemed like the right and the left were agreeing about this yesterday. We're talking about billions and billions of dollars going to things like gender studies in Pakistan, while Americans who are truly hurting are getting the scraps. Who could possibly defend this? This is relief that the American people have now been waiting months for. That stimulus package would provide aid for millions out of work and fearing eviction, but now all of that is up in the air with a threat from the president. This morning, President Trump signaling he won't sign that COVID relief package set to provide aid for millions of Americans. Ready to spend their next round of COVID stimulus checks, President Trump has thrown a last minute wrench into the deal struck by Congress. President Trump delivering an unwelcome Christmas week surprise, a threat that could delay or deny millions of Americans the COVID relief they so desperately need. He demanded that Congress upend their completed bill to increase the checks to $2,000. Now that's an amount Democrats had wanted all along, undermining Republicans. So Speaker Pelosi called his bluff and tweeted, let's do it. That's been the Democrats position all along. So they seized on the opportunity by scheduling a vote for tomorrow, raising that amount to $2,000. Oh, of course. How could I be so dumb? Since Trump came out in defense of Americans, that means the media has to now come out and circle the wagons around Democrats so that they can give them all the credit and the Republicans all the blame. If gaslighting's purpose is to drive its target insane, it's working. I just do not understand how these people are getting away with such blatant rewriting of history. The media wants you to think that this was the Democrats' plan all along. Oh, really? Then why is it that Nancy Pelosi got absolutely schlonged by Wolf Blitz for openly holding up the coronavirus relief bill for purely political reasons? She just wanted to hold it up so she could prevent Trump from getting a win before the election. Let me just quote Ro Khanna, a man you know well, I assume you admire him, he's a Democrat, and he just said this, he said, people in need can't wait until February. $1.8 trillion is significant and more than twice the Obama stimulus. Make a deal, put the ball in McConnell court. So what do you say to Ro Khanna? What I say to you is, I don't know why you're always an apologist, and many of your colleagues Apologist for the Republican position. Rokana, that's nice. What's wrong with $1.8 trillion? Dollars? Wait, I, you know what? Do you have any idea what the difference is between the spending that they have in their bill and that we have in our bill? Yesterday I spoke to Andrew Yang, who says the same thing. It's not everything you yeah, want, but, you know but what? there's you, a lot okay. there. Honest to God, you really, uh, I can't get over it because Andrew Yang, he's lovely. Ro Khanna, he's lovely. They are not negotiating this situation. They have no idea of the particulars. They have no idea of what the language is here. I didn't come over here to have, so you're the apologist for the Obama, excuse me, God forbid. Madam, Madam Speaker, I'm, God I'm not Barack an apologist. Obama. I meant serious questions because so many people I'm are in desperate you need if we, right now. Let me yeah. ask you this. Okay. When was the last time? Let me, you, let me respond well, to well, you. Let me ask you, when was the last time, Madam questions. Speaker? I don't speak to the President. Speak Why with not? His, Why his not representative. Call what makes me amused, if it weren't so sad, is how you all think that you know more about the suffering of the American people than those of us who are elected by them to represent them at that table. Is that what this is all about? Uh, not allow the president to take credit if there's a deal that no, will help I millions of Americans? That. What? No. 
God, I love that clip. You can guarantee that she was just as surprised as everyone else that Wolf Blitzer was asking her these questions. Up until that point, she had been getting away with it. But as you can see, it doesn't even matter because the media just carries on like it never happened and nobody ever saw it. Something else that was omitted from the media's rambling defense of Democrats was why Trump opposed it. They just literally wanted to paint him as the Grinch or Ebenezer Scrooge, even though he actually wanted to get more for Americans. It wasn't just that Americans were only getting $600, but also this ridiculous pork, like $25 billion for Pakistan gender studies, uh, Sri Lankan boat refurbishing. Illegal immigrants are able to get up to $1,800, and then we have billions going to Cambodia, Burma, Egypt, and countries in Central America. But they didn't mention any of this because they're only purpose here is to attach some sort of a victory to the Democrat party. I mean, it's just gotten so ridiculous. I really, I just, I don't understand why anybody buys any of this anymore. I mean, they literally never say anything bad about Democrats and anytime they're defending a politician, it's a Democrat and they're constantly always on the attack against their political opposition. People cannot possibly watch that and think they're getting objective news. It's all about shifting all the blame to Republicans all the time. But I will say, the GOP is not off the hook here. I think Democrats deserve a heaping pile of the blame, but so do the Repugs. For example. You know, there are things in there. The foreign aid budget is 1% of all American spending. Pakistan is a place I really worry about. 85 countries, a woman can't open up a bank account without her husband's signature. She can't inherit property. If you're a young girl in Pakistan, life is pretty tough. So we're trying to make life better for women throughout the world. But 1% of all federal spending uh, is foreign assistance. What the hell was that? Oh, right, right. Clearly, the women in Pakistan are more important constituents than the Americans in this country who voted you into power for some baffling reason. What even is this? I mean, I don't mean to sound cold and soulless, but who gives a damn about gender studies in Pakistan? It's like he's just completely detached from reality. Or they just hate all of us. There's Americans out of work and their businesses are being strangled to death. But gender studies? for Pakistan. Okay, folks, it's time for me to go enjoy some Christmas activities with my family. I hope you all have a great Christmas or Hanukkah. Make sure to hit that like button on your way out and I'll see you all next one.